welcome back to my channel so today i'm showing you how to make this card so i'm taking some of my circle nesting dies the happy hippos from my favorite things and also the obviously the coordinating sentiments obviously i cut mine up so they fit in the wallets but i'm using a six by four inch card and then i'm using a piece of my paper pattern paper um which is from the works unfortunately i couldn't link it and i couldn't find it anywhere and then also I'm taking some vellum. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere my card base to the pattern paper. And I'm using some double sided tape for that. And I'm using my stamp platform to make sure I get this straight. And then I'm just going to trim it. And then I'm working out how many circles I want and what sizes. So this is what it'll end up looking like. And these are all the images I'm going to be using as well. So as you can see, I'm... <laughs> just playing around so I've just adhered the white circles down with some double sided tape and I'm just adding some over the vellum um, and the best thing about this is when you overlap them you can glue down the vellum itself because you won't see it but there is some places on this card that I couldn't like adhere anything because you'd see the glue and I really don't want that but hopefully I can find a glue that you can use one day so I will look out for that guys um if you use a glue when you do vellum let me know down in the comments if it works for you and if so i'll probably purchase it and do a trial run on that um but yeah i think this turned out really great so this is for a person's birthday whose birthday is actually in june um and i don't know how i've managed to do it but i um i have loads of like index cards or record cards um with everybody's names addresses and their birthday um and somehow I managed to lose this girl's. Um, so yesterday I was going through all my birthday cards that got sent to me for my birthday in March. And I found hers and I was like, I'm convinced I did a card for her, but I just cannot find it. Um, so I went through all the cards that I've made and like I have a letter organizer. So I went through all of that and I couldn't find the card for her. So I messaged her asking her if I'd already sent it to her. And she's like, no, I have not received it unless you've only just recently posted it. So in my mind, I just, it clicked. Like I haven't done her card and somehow I managed to misplace her index card. So I've redone it and um, made this card. So this card was a really simple card to do. So I do apologize to the girl, but her Instagram will be linked in my description, guys. So you can go and check out her thing. Um, she does quite a lot of, like, more 3D effect crafts, where I don't. So, I'm just folding over the vellum portions of the circles that go over the card, and I'm going to adhere those down with some multi matte medium glue. Um, maybe double-sided tape would have been better, but it's just getting them to, you know, fit. And then once I've done that, I trim down the white circles that are overhanging, and that works. So you, you don't have to do this, um, I can't remember where I saw this video idea. I think somebody messaged me asking me to do some more vellum cards, I can't remember. But um, I've done this and I kind of like the way it turned out, but also you can't really see the vellum on the camera, but when obviously you're in person you can see it. So it's it's kind of hard to get an idea of what it looks like. I think it's just like mutant like mutes down the color tones so anyway i'm just gonna use my tuxedo black ink and i'm gonna stamp all the images that i need so i'm stamping some directly onto the white portion circles and then the ones that i want to cut out i'm gonna cut i'm not good at fussy cutting so i don't film it um you could obviously use the coordinating dies but i don't have them yet because every time i go to try and buy them they're out of stock so i sort of like gave up trying to find them also, I just took a black pen to fill in the little bit. For some reason, my ink wouldn't reach that bit. But there you go. So, I'm going to insert a time frame, guys, of where to skip to after the colouring. And I'll also speed this up a little bit. So, I will see you in a second.
I'm just going to cut them out and this is what that looks like. And I'm working out all the placements for the little chicks and the hippos. And I'm just going to take my double sided tape again. Um, Obviously I could have used my tape runners but I haven't done that video yet so I can't really use them. Um, I keep saying I'm going to film them but I keep pushing them further back because like there's no like time frame for those. Um, whereas all these cards I want to get done. So um, yeah. So I just used some double sided tape here and there and then I'm going to be using some 3D foam adhesive squares for the hippo and my multi matte medium glue. As you can see I do have a new one of these um, but I don't know. Let me know down in the comments because every time like I go to use the new one it just pushes out too much glue even if I don't use that much pressure. It's so confusing for me um, and as you can see I was trying to get behind the little thing to put the little chickie down and I love these little chicks I think they're so cute I didn't even think about it for Easter and I really wish I did like I can think of a card now that would look great with these little chicks and I couldn't do it so I'm doing well <laughs> um so now I'm gonna bring in my 3d foam adhesive squares as I said and I'm just gonna adhere that down so it gives it a little bit more dimension I guess you could say um also for some reason I don't know i didn't add any blush to the hippo's cheeks um i think it's because it's confusing of where to put it on this image because obviously it has the little i'm presuming the, the nostrils for the nose but it's just so confusing so i did want to add the blush cheeks just in case i put them in the wrong place so i'm going to be using some neat and tangled sequins and i'm using the winter wonderland sequin mix and I've put this in this little container because it's easier for me. Um, and when I put this video up, the Neat and Tangled sequins are still available on Seven Hills Crafts. So make sure you go and buy those because once they're gone, they won't be restocked. And I think they're just a great colour combination to have. And as you can see, for some reason, my jewel picker didn't want to let go of that sequin. <laughs> but yeah, and then I'm going to bring in some Wink of Stella and I'm also bringing in some Nouveau Drops. Um, I'm still new to the whole Nouveau Drop thing, um, but for the moment I haven't really been using them for like the drop effect, I guess you could say. I've been using them to add texture or frosting or something, so. Anyways, I'm also gonna bring in my personal stamp, as you guys know, um, I use this on every card. So I just think it makes it look more complete and crisp, if that makes any sense. I would say it makes it look more professional, but for me it doesn't because even though I'm happy with the process and the, the progress I've made in the last couple of months, I still think my cards could be a lot better than they are. So um, until then, I'm not going to be boasting about it too much. Um, so here's the Nouveau Drops. This is in chocolate fondue and I'm just adding them to the cupcakes to make it look like chocolate frosting so let me know if you guys think i should have left them just colored in or do you think adding this just really made it pop because normally i would add glossy accents to most of my cards um so i might do a video on like my top 10 most used craft items but i have done something similar to that in the past so make sure you go check that video out guys um but yeah so here's my wink of stella pen this is probably really one of the most used craft items I have. I have a Spectrum No Sparkle Pen, which is quite similar. And I also have a Nouveau um, Drop. Not Nouveau Drop. It's a, it's a Nouveau uh, Opal Pen. I can't remember off by heart what it's called. Um, and the difference between those pens is the Wink of Stella has more of a gold glitter effect. The Spectrum No Sparkle Pen has more of like a silver tone. And then the Nouveau one kind of has more like a purple iridescent look. So that's probably why I use the Wink of Stella the most. Because just I think gold works for every kind of card. So, um, but yeah. Also, when this video goes up, I am organizing a hop for July. Which is going to be a summer hop. So according to the weather forecast, we're supposed to have a mini heat wave. Um, and I don't do really well with heat wave. I really hate summer. So... I thought if I'd made a hop video that it would <laughs> sort of like boost my spirits a little bit. But let me know down in the comments, guys. How do you cope with heat, you know? But that's it for this video, guys. If you liked, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up. 
follow me over on my Instagram and follow the girl I send this to. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Stay safe and happy crafting. Bye, guys.